In this video, I'm gonna share with you my recommendation, my personal recommendation for your base zone drop defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And again, we upload videos every single day that are designed specifically to help you become a better player at this game. And so again, if you wanna get access to that, all you gotta do is subscribe. Now I'm talking in this video um, specifically about my nickel three 335 wide defense. Now, nickel 335 wide, in my opinion, is the best defense in Madden 21. It provides you the best amount, uh, the best combination of personnel, as well as pressure, as well as coverage schemes that you can run. And so I like to audible into that from the nickel 335. We've been doing this pretty much all season long, and we've had a very, very successful track record uh, with our defense. Now, really quickly in your coaching adjustments, this is my recommended zone drops. And if you want to get a little bit more of an expanded version of this, if you want to get the entire defense where we not only show you how to run zone drops, but we show you how to run match defense, we show you how to have great man coverage, and we show you how to have great pressure as well as great run defense, you can get that defensive guide in the description of this video for just $15. It's a great way to support the channel, and it is, in my opinion, again, the best defense. Just bottom line, straight up, if you want the best defense, this is where you want to go for it. Uh, that description has that for you. So if you want to get that, you can head down and get that in the description. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our flats on 30. We're going to put our curl flats on 10. And we're going to put our hook curls on 5. This is kind of the starting point for our defense. And what this is going to do is this is going to do a very good job of taking away a lot of the big, big stuff that people like to do. Things like crossing routes and corner routes and post routes and things like that. So we're going to show you how we do that out of this. But we're really going to leverage the power of the Mike Blitz 3. I've talked about this before, but this play, this Mike Blitz 3 is really good for multiple reasons. But one of the reasons is I think just the pure disguise of it and the ability it has to just take everything away. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to run a lot of cover 3, actually. We're actually going to run a lot of cover 6. So we're going down to Mike Blitz 3 just like this. And all we're going to do is we're going to shade our coverage down. And then we're going to put both of our linebackers in seam flats. I like to crash my line out, shift them to the side of the running back, and put the outside lineman on a bluff blitz. That's going to make him go into a three wreck, as you can see right here. Um, this is what we've got going. Now, from that point, I like to create a cover six. So I'm going to deep half the right side guy. And then on the left side, I'm going to play cover four, just like that right there. This is my defense. This is my favorite defense in the entire game to be in. And what you're going to see is if they try to run something like a PA boot over, I don't even think you have to user anybody on this play. It completely locks PA boot over down. And as you can see right here, we're playing really, really solid defense. One of the things that people don't understand is that it is possible to run 335 and 335 wide the wrong way. We want to teach you how to run it the right way. And that's why we wrote the entire guide on it. So if you want to get that, again, that is in the description of this video. But let's talk about another uh, meta passing concept for just a moment. And let's talk about a you know flood concept to the bunch side and what that would look like. So uh, again, you're going to see these are the adjustments just like this. And then we're just going to make sure that we make that deep path. And what that deep path is going to do it's going to help us a lot with like a seam streak to the tight end or something like that. Now, if we shift back over here to the left side, you're going to see we're going to do kind of a traditional little flood concept. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're just going to kind of use it right up in there. And you see that this great corner route from the bunch tight end is no longer open. We've taken away the corner route and we've taken away the crossing route. And what we've done is we've forced the opponent to have to check down, have to play underneath, and this is going to force them to have to drive a lot. You're going to get a lot of interception off of this defense. Um, I want to share with you one other play from Bunch Tight End, and then I want to show you something uh, from the Bunch formation specifically as well. So if we look at this here again, this is Bunch Tight End, um, and we're going to go to the play uh, Mesh. I think Mesh is a really, really good play. It's really underrated. But let me just show you kind of how this works. Because we put these at 10 yards, and again, we want to make sure that we're pass committing. Um, in Mutt, you see here, see how the see how the outside quarter plays it, and he didn't like pick it, but he's in the he's in the vicinity of the route. That's the beauty of creating that cover four to the to the wide side and cover two to the short side. And so that is how um, in Mutt, that's an automatic interception, not even possible to be thrown. That route is not even open uh, in mud. In regs, they can fit it in a little bit better, but you're still going to have you know a lot of success 
with that approach. Now, I want to shift gears for just a moment, and I want to talk briefly uh, about the gun bunch. We all probably at some point in our career in Madden have faced the gun bunch, and we probably all struggled at some point in our career to stop it. So let's talk about gun bunch for just a moment. Um, I want to talk about a couple of the prominent uh, passing concepts. The one that I really want to hit on uh, actually is this bunch trail. Now, the Jets dig uh, is completely taken away. I'm not even going to spend any time on that. Mesh post is going to be completely taken away. Again, not even going to spend any time on that. But what we are going to spend some time on is I want to first show you Z spot. So uh, if we set up our zone drops just like this right here, right, and then maybe they do something like that on the left side, uh, I just want to show you the adjustment. So again, um, now with bunch, I don't normally shift my line. Just a quick tip, I don't normally shift them. I normally just spread the line against bunch. But anyway, shade coverage down. We're going to put our outside and inside quarter on the right. We've got the deep half there. And then we just put two seam flats and we're good to go. As you can see right here, this is a pretty solid little defense. And uh, when we snap the ball, what you're going to see is this corner route that causes so many problems for so many people is going to get completely taken away. The outside quarter is going to be in the vicinity as well as the 30-yard um, well uh, flat zone. Now I want to shift and I want to talk about another concept um, that I really think you're going to – I mean, you're definitely going to run into this, and this is the flood concept from Bunch. Now, flood probably, and, and this is just my opinion, uh, flood, in my opinion, is the hardest play to consistently stop uh, in the entire game. So if we, you know, again, your job, your primary responsibility is going to be over here in this little area right in here. But if you watch this R1 receiver, you see that we're going to do a decent job of taking that away. Now, one of the things that we didn't do a good job of right there, and I'm going to share, I'm going to show this to you again, uh, we forgot to put the defensive lineman on a bluff blitz. And when you, you want to make sure that you don't forget that because if you forget to put the defensive lineman on that bluff blitz, uh, what's going to happen is – um, you know, they're going to be able to kind of quick throw it. But if you get him on the bluff blitz, you see him, they try to quick throw it. That's going to be oftentimes an interception. They're going to throw it in the wrong direction and you're going to have a lot of success. So that's another one of those popular concepts. The last play that I want to hit on, and this is something that you have to watch out for. This is just kind of my personal opinion. Uh, I think this bunch trail play is actually really, really, really good. Um, there's some different ways that you can run it. We're going to run it kind of like this right here. Um, but I just want you to kind of watch how this works. So bunch tight or, uh, bunch trail is kind of the the cover for you know beater from bunch and i just want you to kind of see you know how this plays out so again we get all of our adjustments in as you can see right here and then we're you know again our user responsibility is going to be kind of running here but i just want you to watch how the deep blue zones play this you're going to see that this guy is actually going to get you know pretty well covered in mutt he's definitely going to be covered in regs sometimes they glitch out a little bit so that's why you want to put a, maybe a better cor corner there um you don't want to put like jair there but you might want to put like adrian amos there or something somebody that can has the awareness to be able to like get back on that that's just one little thing that you need to kind of be mindful of. Um, obviously, if you're if you're using that, you know you're going to be fine. Uh, if you're kind of watching out for that, if you see a skinny post uh, running down the middle of the field, then you can jump on that as a user. But again, I just want to show this one more time. And again, I'm just not, I'm not even going to play defense, but I just want you to watch bunch trail. Um, so again, we're going to do something like like this maybe. Uh, you know, we'll do like, like this combination. We've smart routed that that post. And I just want you to kind of watch, you know, how this plays out. You're going to see, you know, right there, that's the issue. That's the problem child of the bunch. And so you've got to be a little bit mindful of that. In mud, it's not as big of a deal because you got better players. They're going to be able to get back. They're going to know to get back. In regs, it can be a little bit of a problem. So uh, just be aware of that. You might need to man them up. You just need to make, you just need to watch out for that. That's the thing that can really cause you some trouble. And if that's what's causing you problems, um, you know it's not. You know you can. There's there's ways around it. There's other things that you can do. Um, one of those other things that you can do is to simply play uh, cover two on the right. So you'll see something like this right here. Um, so we're going to play cover two on the right. We've got this. And then, and then basically, you know, we're going to basically sit pretty. So we've got the man coverage on the circle receiver, just like this right here. You know, this is something that you could do that's not, you know, not too difficult that will take this away because uh, what's going to happen is we would basically just roll the coverage. So we'd have an inside third. You see, it's almost like a cover three cloud type of coverage, but we're basically rolling the coverage at it. This will stop most of everything as well from the bunch. Um, but I like, I would rather um, be able to have that extra protection, but you'll see right here, if they run that post, you know, you've taken that completely away. So anyways, 
That is really my preferred way of playing zone drops right now in Madden 21. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the entire defensive guide that I have written, the exact defense that I run in money games and in weekend league and things like that, uh, you can get that in the description for just $15. Thanks for your time and thanks for your support, and we'll see you guys next time.